Hey, what's going on guys? Thanks for hitting that play button today. So first of all, I thought I'd show off our puppies here because it was only about one month ago I made that unboxing video with these guys. And you can see how just big they're getting. I mean, they don't stay puppies for long, that's for sure. I can't even believe how fast they're growing. I mean, look at this guy's feet. You know what they say about big feet? <laughs> Means he's gonna be a real big dog. <laughs> so I thought I'd share these guys with you. But the main reason we're here today is we have another unboxing video for you. Um, Nothing super groundbreaking, but nevertheless, it's another animal that we needed. Hey, buddy. He's smiling at me. He's a good boy. <laughs> That's Milo. Oh, they're calm. This is about the calmest they've been for a while. Yeah, this is Milo here, and this is Bear. It's your first time tuning in with us. So let me put them down, and we'll get on with the unboxing video. Okay, so the unboxing we have today is coming from Infinity Critters. So we just have one snake in here today. Ooh. Cut it open, take a peek in here, and see what we got. Huh? Ah! Oh, no. Oh, jeez. All right. So, <laughs> ooh, pretty. So what we got here is an Exantic that's actually Het Clown. Um, I was thinking about getting the visual Exantic Clown, but we got this for about one-tenth of the price, so... I have a clown that's head exantic that I plan on breeding him to, you know, when he gets up to size and, you know, he's still kind of small, maybe 150 grams or so, but with the males, they only need to get up to about 600 grams and you can start breeding them. We've had good success with some of the smaller males. So, um, yeah, that's our plans with this boy right here. Also, I thought, um, it's kind of a long shot, but since this is exantic and it's head clown, I thought about breeding it to a desert ghost and making triple heads and going for the... Um, Exanthic Clown Desert Ghost. Now I know this is Het Clown, but we can do with all the babies, we can send in the sheds and have um, it genetically tested to see which ones are actually clown in that clutch. Het Clown, I'm sorry. And then um, keep all of those and then breed them back to each other. I know it's a long shot, but I mean, what the heck, imagine the Exanthic Desert Ghost Clown. Woo! Dang! So um, I'm going to show you that female, the main female that I ended, that I bought this snake for to breed to in the future next season hopefully so oh my good reach her up here oh goodness ah, it's a long way up sorry girl. long way all right so this is our clown that's head exanthic and you, you can see she's uh she's got plenty of size on her yes she does right, she's a big girl she's ready to go she's ready to get some love and yes she is <laughs> get that loving Oh my. All right, so that's her there. Let's just keep her out for a second. Yeah, she's yep. nice. Hang on. God, I gotta take a little break here. Okay. I've been dying for this all day. What in the heck? Ah, chicken noodle soup. Delicious. <laughs> all right, guys, while we're talking about examples. <laughs> Sorry, you got a little oh, something okay. on there. I'm gonna turn her colors. Yes. Uh, while we're on the topic of examples, I know I've showed you this, guys. Um, this snake before but he just had a fresh shed and I think he's looking pretty swag so I thought I'd pull him out here and show you again because I'm like crazy about this snake right here this is our um, exanthic pied he is pretty. I know you've seen him before when he was a baby I mean he's getting some size to him now and actually he's been putting in work he's been well actually he's only bred with one female um, in particular that I had him going with and that is a female clown, kind of like this one, not this one, but <laughs> nevertheless, another clown. And I'll show you her over here. And she's actually ovulating right now. So, hey, you tuned in at a good time. Oh, yeah. And, oh, that's in there. So, <laughs> take a look at this. Let's see that You can ovulation. see how swole she is in her, Oh yeah. like, three quarters of the way down here, like, right in this region right here. Which, actually, it was a lot more pronounced. This is like the ending stages of it, but... Oh, yeah, it's still big. Yeah, nevertheless, big so girl. she went to our beautiful Exantic Pied, so we're going to have triple heads on that one. So, right, so I know it's a long shot with some of these triple heads, but, man, it sure is exciting when you go to egg cutting day and you're cutting that thing open and, and the odds are against you, but you hit that one and it's like, wow! <laughs> I mean, it's unbelievable. <laughs> so... That's what we live for around here, guys. That and chicken noodle soup. What's chicken noodle soup without crackers, though? <laughs> mm, mm. Well, why don't you add some cheese balls? That's a good idea. That sounds disgusting, but... No, it doesn't. I don't know. Oh, jeez. Chicken noodle soup and cheese balls, guys. 
We put those things on everything. Sorry we don't have a lot more going on around here. Um, we've got a bunch of ovulations going on, so hopefully some of these girls start laying soon. Usually you can expect about, let's see, after the ovulation, in about three weeks they'll do what's called a pre-lay shed. And then about a month to a month and a half from that point, you can start expecting some eggs. So hopefully that's coming up real soon for us. Mmm, mm. I bet that's delish. With the cheese? Not bad with cheese balls in there. Yeah. Chicken noodle soup, cracker, cheese balls. Snakes breeding, ovulating, new exanthic, pet clown. Yeah, pretty. That's about it, guys. We'll see you soon. Hopefully there's more stuff going around here. Hopefully next time I tune in, I can show you some snake eggs. And we'll show you how we set them up and stuff and throw them in the incubator and go through the whole uh, incubation process. But um, guys, thanks for tuning in. Be sure to give it a big old thumbs up. We'll see you soon. No, I mean, it is really good, but once the cheese balls start getting soggy, it's kind of weird. <laughs> I think Milo wants to taste he, I it. I think he likes it. I think so. Oh, I think he likes Ooh. it. Oh. <laughs>